guys, bless you for being here. Thanks for tuning in. We're all thinking it. We all want to know. Ian's back. He's back from his honeymoon. How was it? How was it? Did you have a good time? It was, it was fantastic. Yeah? All, all we did was wait, lay, laid on a beach, drank pina coladas, ate lobster. It was fantastic. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Because we, um, we called you. We FaceTimed you yeah. from the show. No, I saw that. <laughs> didn't cross your mind? You didn't think, oh, it might be urgent? I was in the pool. <laughs> I mean, that would have been the ideal way for you to answer the phone. Yeah. I was like... Yeah. I mean, nothing. I've had nothing from you. I've had no correspondence. No. No. Is like zero? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like Married Ian. I'm no. going to say it. I don't like him. Yeah. Well, you, you know He's what? He's got an attitude. You know what? Mm. My wife likes me. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Yeah. <laughs> But you had a great time. Oh, dude, it was it was fantastic. And then I came back, and yesterday I had like the husbandest day ever. I'm really taken to it. I went to a store that just sells barbecue equipment. Exceptional. I went in there. Shout out to Manny at Barbecues Galore in Pasadena. I Is think that that's what it's called. It, I think that's what it's called. It's called Barbecues Galore. I think it's called Barbecues Galore. Now that I'm yeah. saying it, that definitely sounds like what but, it wouldn't be called. But. <laughs> Hang on, let's do this up. I would like, it's correct. Oh, yeah, I know barbecues galore. Oh, you yeah. know barbecues yeah, yeah, yeah. galore? Okay, really? it is. Hang on, why, why, why? This, I love a barbecue shop. Are, do you, are yeah. you living that barbecue lifestyle like that? I love to grill. Oh. So, hang on. So, how many barbecues are we talking? This what play, is galore nowadays? Galore? This, like, as, I think to hit galore, you got to have at least, like, 30 barbecues. And this yeah, place yeah, was correct. easily... Cool. Easily clearing that hurdle. And what did you? What were you getting there? I was in there. Paraphernalia I was, I was, or an actual? The queue had been taken care of as a wedding present, yep. so I was in there getting barbecue paraphernalia, uh, lump premium lump charcoal, uh, scrub. You know, like sort of a scrubber. Yep. I was getting like like accessories for McHugh. Uh, I was getting like a, a, oh a coal starter, mm. which Manny hooked up too. Go on. He took ten dollars off. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Manny is an absolute god. Dude, Manny, like, if, you go, if, if you're going to Barbecues Galore in Pasadena and anyone but Manny comes up, well, I'd if, say, wait, wait yeah. it out. If I go to Barbecues Galore in Pasadena and yeah. I say, is Manny here? And they say, uh, he's not here today. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to walk straight out of yeah. there. Yeah. I'm going to go home. I'm going to say to the kids, guys, we'll order in. Yeah. We're not having a barbecue. <laughs> Yeah. And they'll go, why? And I'll say, Manny wasn't there. And do you know what they'll say? Even my daughter, Charlotte, who's four years old, she'll go, I completely understand. Yeah, that. yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Are you cool with us talking about Manny's barbecues galore? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess so. I'm a little bit more uh, upset that you were so close to Manny's galore, or barbecue galore, which is in, like, right next to where I live. And yeah. you didn't even bother to say, like, hey, you want to come and... <laughs> Hang out at Barbecue Galore with me. Well, uh, Nick, 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 I can clear this up for you. That, that is Married Ian. <laughs> because he, he's not, he's actually, he's, he's actually not interested in friendship anymore. Yeah. That's the truth of it. Now oh. he's got Dana and this is going to backfire. It'll be a backfire in a big way. Yeah. You're going to wake up, you have two kids, you're going to look around and think, who are my friends? And you're going to realise you don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's true, it's true. It's true, it's true. All, your only people that you'll know as friends are your wife's... your wife's friends' husbands. <laughs> you won't know what they do. You won't know where they work. You won't know where they were born. And you will spend countless Sundays and Saturdays in parks and play dates and things, standing, talking to them, going, wow. You won't even know their, like, second name. Yeah. It'll just be Phil. <laughs> and it'll take you a year, it'll take you a year to even know that this guy is called Phil, because in all you'll know him as is, like, oh, that's Fox's dad. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know how I know that that's not going to happen? Go on. Because as long as there's a place in Pasadena called Barbecues Galore... You'll have a friend. ...in Manny. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah. We love you, Manny. <laughs> what can I tell you? Look, we could do this all day. We can't. We'd love to, but we can't, because it's that time. It's time for the news. 
According to a new book, Donald Trump repeatedly told aides that he would remain in the White House despite losing to Joe Biden, saying, I'm just not going to leave. <laughs> I hope he did it like Jennifer Hudson in Dreamgirls. I hope he's like, no, 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 wait! No, 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 no! Ah! Uh, Trump said... <laughs> Trump said, I'm just not going to leave. I like to think I'd behave better than Trump, but this is, the, this is exactly how I react to an 11 a.m. checkout time at a hotel. <laughs> it's five past 11, I think, I'm just not gonna leave. <laughs> I'm not leaving. I, you ever do that thing where you just go, oh, can we just get, stay for, like, an hour and a half? And they go, yeah, it'll be $200. Yeah! <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. But we don't have to do that now. No. Because if we've got an hour and a half to spare, you know where we're going? Barbecues galore in Pasadena. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> part of me wishes, I read this story, part of me wishes that Trump had never left. Just stayed, just wandering around the White House, like an open robe. Do you know what I mean? Spilling grease over top secret documents. <laughs> walking into Biden's meetings, just yelling, nope! <laughs> In other news, of course, Prince Charles was formally proclaimed monarch on Saturday, taking the name King Charles III. This morning, he addressed Parliament for the first time as king. The first thing he did was make a sincere apology for spoiling the ending of the crown. <laughs> Here's King Charles and Camilla, Queen's consort, earlier today, sitting on their thrones together there for the first time. I will say, Game of Thrones has ruined thrones. <laughs> like, that's an actual throne. That is a throne. It just looks like a seat now. Like, the, the throne in Game of Thrones is so big, it's ruined thrones. Yeah. Although I do think there should be more thrones in other jobs, not just the monarchy. Like, you know what I mean? You get promoted at Starbucks, boom. <laughs> Make your fraps sitting on a throne. Yeah, they, they should just be throwing them out there. Yeah, throning them out there. <laughs> exactly. You hit your sale goal, you know, for the quarter, get in the throne zone. <laughs> you become the senior vice president of late night programming West Coast, you do not get a throne. Sorry about that. No. <laughs> and did you hear about this? British authorities are asking mourners not to leave any more marmalade sandwiches outside Buckingham Palace. People have been leaving the sandwiches as part of a makeshift memorial. I have been missing home so much these last few days. I have never missed it more than when I just realised there are free sandwiches just lying around. <laughs> But I must say, anyone who knows the Queen knows that the way to her heart isn't marmalade sandwiches, but a perfectly made martini. <laughs> and if you're here in Los Angeles, if you're here in Los Angeles and you would like to honour the Queen, make it a turkey club with applewood smoked bacon, just leave it outside Television City, and I personally will make sure <laughs> that it gets to the proper location. <laughs> and finally, did you hear about this? Apple's newest iPhone operating system, iOS 16 was Woo. officially released to the public today, and one of the new features is the ability to unsend and edit text messages you've already sent. Yeah. This means no more iPhone typos. Yeah, this is a big ducking deal. <laughs> you have two minutes to delete your text, which in turn means your recipient has two minutes to screen grab it and show everybody <laughs> what you really think of Chris's new girlfriend. <laughs> This has already happened to me. It's already happened. Tom Cruise texted me this afternoon saying I was his hero. He said I was his inspiration. And there was a typo, so he deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest texting disaster you've ever had? Have you ever had one? I, our, this was before I met the woman who's now, uh, who I'm now married to. Yeah. Uh, before we met, even. I was on tour uh, in, in Washington, D.C., and my, I was traveling with a couple other comedians, and one of them brought a couple of his friends who lived in D.C. to the show. They were two girls who were, like, in grad school, and I was talking to one of them, and I was, like, feeling very charming, and we were getting along great. And then we did the show, and then they came out with us after the show. We were drinking, and, you know, I was drinking a lot. It was after a show, so I was pretty drunk. We were, I thought, I was like, man, this is really going somewhere. Like, me and this girl, I think that, you know, I think, you know, sparks are flying. Mm. And, uh, and we parted ways without anything happening, right? And then I went on and kept partying throughout the night, and I woke up the next day, you know, like at like 10 a.m., I, I looked at my phone, text messages, you know, from a bunch of people, including one from that girl from the night before. And what that text message said was, hey, Ian, it was so nice meeting you last night. 
I don't know what you're doing right now, but I wish you were having sex with me instead. I know. In fact, after talking to you, I can't think of anyone who I'd rather be having sex with. You were so smart and so funny. I hope we get to run into each other again soon. Bye. And I like lost it. I was like, I knew it. I knew she was feeling me. And like, I went and got my friends and they were like, oh dude, I told you, I told you. We were all like, we went to like breakfast and got champagne. We were like celebrating. <laughs> Like I had hooked up with her, you know what I mean? And I was like, oh, like at this point, I was like, oh, it's been an hour. I got to send a text message back. I haven't responded. She sent that at like midnight. You know, it's been like 12 hours. So I sent her one. I was like, hey, it was so nice meeting you too. I also wish we were having sex. I bet having sex with you would be really fun. You seem so funny and smart. You're probably, probably quoting facts about history while we were doing it. And I would think that was rad. And I sent it. And then I heard nothing for like two, three hours. And I was like, oh, well, she's probably feeling pretty shy because that was a pretty, <laughs> I'm a comedian. She's just a grad student. She's not used to like, you know, the like go-go lifestyle that I have. So I sent another one. I said, hey, hope you don't feel bad about that text you sent. You know, good for you for putting it out there. I would have done the same. I sent it. A few more hours went by. At this point, it's like 10 hours since the text. I send her one more. I was like, ha, 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 oh, I get it. I made you wait 12 hours for a response. Now you're making me wait 12 hours for a response. LOL, honestly, I respect it. Send. And now five minutes went by, and then I got another text message from her. She finally replied, and I opened it, and I read it, and it said, hey, Ian, you sent yourself that text from my phone last night. <laughs> You said it would be the funniest way for us to exchange numbers, and I said, I think you're too drunk, you might not remember, and you said, no, no, I'll remember. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear, I'm not interested in you sexually or otherwise. <laughs> wow.